New tonight, a Northeast Arkansas rehabilitation facility will be adding more beds to its campus. John 316 Ministries cut the ribbon on its new facility, which is months away from completion. It will house an additional 40 people on its campus. Hayden Savage joins us from there now with more details on the expansion. Yeah, hey, Diane, I'm standing where those extra 40 beds here at John 316 Ministries in Charlotte will go. And the director tells me it's something that is crucially needed. There's absolutely been no end in 20 years. Three, two, one. Today, John 316 Ministries in Charlotte cut the ribbon on its new multi-purpose facility that will add 40 additional beds. Beds are added, the ministry will be able to hold what's in its name, 316 residents. Director Brian Tuggle said since starting the ministry years ago, different kinds of drugs and alcohol have made their way onto the market, but the one thing remains, an addiction. You, it used to be meth and, and alcohol, now mainly of it is, is uh, fentanyl with the opioids. John 316 residents Trace Tilton explained because of the ministry, he's on track to beating his addiction and turning his life around. And he told me about John 316 and told me he would give me a new life and uh, decided to come and uh, it did exactly that. Tilton said with the addition, more men like him will be able to receive help. It means, means the world to me. It means, means we're better in ourselves as a community through Christ. Tuggle said with plans in the future to accept both men and women, it'll help families stay away from addiction in the future. You get the man right and then some, when the ladies start coming, get the lady right, then you have the whole family right. And now we're raising our children up uh, uh, where they'll never turn to alcohol and drugs. Now this new facility here in Charlotte, Brian Tuggle tells me is also crucial to growing their women's ministry as well, but they'll have to wait until they can release more details on that. In Charlotte, Hayden Savage, K8 News. Hayden, thank you. Around 50 community members were also on hand for the ribbon cutting.